so here you can see the on display the power is there but moment i plug out power goes off so so it's a new day and a new bike with a new problem so this bike was working perfectly fine till two days back and then the rider realized that uh, throttle is not working so when the bike came to me first thing i observe is whenever i use the throttle there is an error so i just went into the menu and uh, check what the error code is and then i am getting the error code 9 so this is omt m3 uh, manual uh, display so let's check uh, what does error code 009 means so i'm here on the google and and now we are searching the omt m3 manual and see what does the error code 009 means so let's start. then go to the first link and then scroll since i already i already know where the manual is i have been drifting the manual for quite long so i know uh, the error codes are mentioned at the bottom so when you go to error code definition you will see the error code 9 it says uh, controller error since we already know that uh, the error code is 009 and this represents that there is something wrong with the controller so in this bike the controller is located here inside this box and uh, what i think is either the controller is broken or the throttle throttle is broken and then that's why they are not able to communicate with each other in case the controller is broken i will have to change the controller as well as the display because uh, this display can communicate only with the respective controller and uh, I hopefully I will be able to use the throttle but uh, if uh, there is another possibility that only the throttle is broken and then I'll just change the throttle and then I can use the same display and the uh, controller so one more thing I wanted to test about this bike was if the paddle assist sensor is working uh, several times it happens that uh, the throttle is broken but still the paddle assist work or the paddle assist is broken and the throttle is working. So here in this bike we can see the, the magnetic paddle assist sensor is installed here. So uh, but when I try to run the wheel the, this is not working and the wheel is quite tight. So from here there is one possibility that uh, when brake was loose the rider has uh, tightened the brake and because of that the wheel got jammed and there was a overload on the controller because the rider was using only the throttle and uh, because of that the controller blew. Uh, so this is just a possibility, uh, we exactly don't know what has happened. We'll just check and uh, try to fix it. So now the back wheel is free and we have removed the brake pads. Uh, now we'll check if the paddle assist sensor is uh, working or if that is also causing a error. So yeah, so I will check it. And one paddle and you can see that uh, there is an error here and when we go to error code it says the error code 9 uh, which means that uh, there is a very high probability the that the controller is broken and because of that neither of the throttle or the paddle assist is working uh, meanwhile i have been trying to open this box uh, inside which the controller is placed. I was lucky with the two screw, but I was not able to open either of the screw. Uh, as a matter of fact, I know that uh, in this kind of e-bike you can open only the three screw, 
and uh, PV to the fourth screw this plate uh, rotates uh, I think by the design that uh, this screw should be fixed one but it could be this screw as well so what do you think you can leave your idea in the comment section and uh, one more thing I wanted to tell that uh, meanwhile I was doing it I realized that uh, water water is dripping out of this box and it has accumulated so uh, a water damage to a controller could be another possible reason uh, because of which this uh, e-bike is not working and luckily today I am using a protective carpet uh, over the main carpet uh, just to avoid any damage to the property so I will just open it I will check and uh, see uh, what we can do finally I am able to open this box by using force I had to cut open the screw using my drill machine and now let's check what's the problem with the controller so now the controller is out we will start the diagnosis but before uh, the diagnosis we need to understand uh, basic structure of a controller how it looks and uh, what kind of wiring it has so this is a generic uh, controller uh, mostly available in most economical bikes rated for 36 volt to 50 watt motor and uh, power cutoff of uh, minimum voltage 29 uh, volt and uh, maximum current of 15 ampere so in this controller you will first we need to find out uh, which one is the uh, power uh, wire so a wire which is coming directly from the battery is the power wire usually these are the two wires and whenever you plug it out the power will go off so here you can see the on display the power is there but moment I plug out power goes off so. So one more thing, uh, whenever uh, you want to plug this in or plug this out, always remember to uh, switch off the power from the uh, battery. So now I have switched off the power from battery. Now I will remove it and now I will put it back. So you see there is no spark. So that was a mistake. I did it and uh, you should not do it. Okay. So. Yeah, now I have switched on the battery and now the display is on okay so these two are power button uh, power cable uh, there will be one wire that will go to motor and that will be of 8 or 9 wire so in this you will see the 3 phase wire and the uh, a 6 signal wire so this is a 9 wire motor cable okay so now you will see a, a display wire so usually uh, a plug with uh, five or six wire is for display uh, yeah and uh, it depends on the display which display it is some display works on four some on five some on six and uh, then after that there are some wires usually a two wire this will be for brakes this will be in pair mostly so more some controller you will see there will be one plug and this will go to two brake levers or there will be two independent wires like this and uh, then there is uh, pass and throttle so three wires each and one plug is for pass one plug is for throttle but uh, at the moment I don't know which wire is for the pass and which wire is for throttle so I have a method to check it but if you have a better method how I can distinguish between the pass cable and the throttle cable uh, please leave your uh, advice in the comment section uh, I'll be happy to know that uh, so right now how I am checking is uh, I'll just uh, whenever I uh, throttle so whenever I throttle you can see here 
whenever I throttle, there is a error error code. Okay, so I will plug plug out one and then see. Uh, so the moment I plug out, I see a error code. So I will plug it back and then I will plug the other one. And now I don't have error code. And when I am pressing throttle, I am getting error code. So it means that uh, uh, this wire is for uh, throttle, and then the other wire which I have unplugged it, uh, that was for the pass. This one was for the pass. So now the diagnosis part. First, I have to check uh, since I am whenever I am uh, using the throttle, I am getting error code. So this might be possible because of the controller or it might also possible that it is happening because of the uh, throttle so to test that what i have done is i have set my multimeter at 20 volt and uh, i am also observing the controller display and then i will check the voltage between the three wires yeah so this wire i am getting 4.3 volt i am getting and here I am getting 0 0.84 volt and here I am getting 3.5 volt so what happens is whenever uh, if a throttle is working and uh, whenever we throttle then the voltage ranges from 0 0.8 volt to uh, not 0 0.8 volt it ranges from 1 volt to 4 volt so now this is 0 0.84 volt and when I'm, my throttle is full it's going to 3.6 uh, volt yes so this means the throttle is working so the function of throttle is to change the voltage and whenever the voltage change uh, the controller recognizes it and based on that it supplies the power to the motor so whenever i'm uh, twisting the throttle i'm getting a change of voltage so this proves that uh, my throttle is okay so very there is very high possibility that uh, this controller is broken to repair this controller i have to open the controller and check if what is the issue uh, at the as a moment i am not opening the controller and fixing it i'll just uh, replace the controller and uh, check if my e-bike is working or not so for this i have already have a spare controller and uh, first to change that first i will switch off the battery and then i will plug out everything so now i am connecting a new controller new controller to the bike so first I will connect the phase wire of the motor and then I will connect the power uh, cables. My display is already connected because I bought this controller with the display in pair and now I will connect the throttle which came with uh, this controller in pair so so now my new controller is plugged in i will check uh, if my bike is working or not so switch on and first thing i do is whenever you long press the bottom button here it activates the pedestrian mode so you can see the pedestrian mode is on here and you can see here pedestrian mode is on and then so bike is running now I'll check if my throttle is working So now you can now you can see the throttle is also working and 
is working with full speed so this means the controller is broken there now what I will try is uh, I'll try to use the existing uh, throttle with uh, this display and controller so that uh, I don't have to do much wiring and for uh, yeah so only issue one issue with uh, this controller is this controller has a different port like opposite port of what is required to connect the uh, throttle of uh, the existing one so both are same nail so I need uh, a conversion so I already have some conversion from my tools and then I will connect this and then I will see if my existing throttle box so existing throttle is also working so that means I don't need to change the throttle only only problem with uh, this spike was with the uh, controller and uh, uh, I have to change the display as well because I as I told earlier that uh, this controller and those display they communicate with each other and uh, they comes in pair so if I change the controller and I put a new controller so the new controller will not be able to communicate with the existing display so whenever I change I have to change the display and the controller but uh, if in case you know how I can use the existing display with the new controller if, if there is any software or something that I can use to modify or program uh, if you know please leave a post in the comment section I will definitely follow it and uh, I'll learn about it and uh, as of now the bike I think is ready so I'll do the finish up the wiring and uh, remove the old uh, display and old controller and put the new display and new controller I will use the existing uh, throttle and uh, yeah that's all that's all for this bike and then this bike is ready to be ridden